The Get On Living Saintly campaign is sponsoring this podcast to remind you to keep your spending in the community. Supporting local businesses keeps food on the table for our friends and neighbors. Follow them on social media and learn more at GetOnLivingSafely.com. You are listening to the song Grave, created by Mark Truman, a local industrial music creator under the moniker Choke Chain. We discuss throwback influences, creation of music, collaborating during COVID, recording, and what's next for this musician. You can find more conversations on our website, lacrosselocal.com. I'm Amy. And I'm Brent. And this is Lacrosse Local. My name is Mark Truman. I was born in Ventura, California. And I got into music because my dad was involved in like being a producer and a manager and a tour manager for like big bands in the 80s, like Jethro Tull, Yngwie Malmsteen, Bay City Rollers, a bunch, a bunch of other people. So like when I was growing up, I was just like around, I would like listen to those records and stuff just because he like had them, you know, and stuff like that. And then when I was old enough to like understand that like that was what he did for a living and it was like a like being in the music business like that kind of just made me like be really interested in it and like want to pursue it and also um my older brother has also done music decently successfully to where he's like toured other parts of the world and like Mm. had records come out on labels that were pretty big and stuff like that so it's just been like a thing that i've just been around and wanted to do my whole life i grew up in the 80s so from your music, I instantly hear like Nine Inch Nails, Pretty Hate Machine. Who are some of your musical influences? That sound is like definitely like the prime, the prime influence for the music. So things like like Skinny Puppy and like Ministry, yeah. or really early Nine Inch Nails, especially for me at least when it comes to Nine Inch Nails. But um, so things like that, like primarily. But I'm also really influenced by like old punk music. Mm-hmm. Like old things like Dead Kennedys and like Black Flag and the the angry angrier side of punk music like that that like was happening in like the mid early eighties and stuff like that. And so for me, this music just is me trying to like blend that together, those that like industrial sound and that punk sound like to one thing. It sounds great. It sounds modern, but it also does kind of throw back to those influences. When approaching a song, what is that process like? I mean, are you predominantly all kind of digital on keyboards or how does it work? It depends. I'm primarily like hardware based with like old school like synthesizers and like, you know, keyboards and that sort of thing. I do use like digital technology like sometimes in like post production or whatever. The process for me is very like drums and like a bass at first to get the like foundation just going. And then I just kind of like build off of it, segment it into parts and then just like, you know, do a verse, then repeat it a couple times in my sequencer machine that I use or whatever, build another part and so on and so on. It's just kind of like I focus on the basics first and get all that down, like down pat how I want it, and then just kind of build off of it. You know, you mentioned earlier about playing live. I unfortunately haven't seen you play live just because, you know, the last six months, nobody's been able to go out anywhere. But is there any difference in your approach when recording or do you record live in some ways or how does that work? I have the ability to record anything into my machines live that I want, but I do a lot of like playing it note by note and just like entering it in, letting it like play on its own because just how I do electronic music just like enables me to to do that. And for me, it's easier since I'm not really like a keyboard player. So it's easier for me to just like enter it all in kind of in a grid, you know, and just go from there. You know, I've been checking out your music the past couple of days. How did this song Grave come about? It looks like it's a collaboration with the Sweat Boys. Is that correct? That track uh, specifically is just is a remix of a track that I put out on the EP earlier in, in July called Grave. So 
Ben from Sweat Boys is a really good friend of mine. And it just kind of was a thing. He was like, hey, man, send me the song and I'll do a remix for you, you know? The electronic music in general is just really, really easy for collaborations like that to happen just because, you know, you can just send your recorded audio over to them or whatever, and they'll just remake it in a way that they want to do it, you know? So musically, and maybe just in your day-to-day life, how have you been adapting to COVID? Have you found any helpful, anything helpful during this time? Have you found creativity during this time, or has it just been a pain? I found a lot of creativity. Um, I have a lot of time now yeah. to just do it, you know? just 100% of the time whenever I want to for however long I want to. So that's really helped just having the like the unrestricted like ability to be creative just whenever I feel like it. And it's been helping me like keep my spirits up like during all of this craziness just because I have like something to hyper focus on like this, you know, just generally helpful for my my well-being during this, you know. So what's next for you? Is there any project you're really excited about? My next release is already done. Um, Hmm. I'm just waiting for the final touches to be administered, like mastering and like getting the art sorted out uh, and, uh, and some other things. So that's on the table next. So four more songs are coming so soon. And I'm trying to like do more like virtual live performances if I'm able. It's not as big of an importance to me as like the just writing of the music itself, but like it's still fun. You know, I still enjoy playing for anyone. I'm just going to try and do that. Well, the COVID's happening, you know, Uh, well, that's just our route to play in front of people. I'm just going to do it. Um, And yeah, so that's basically what's next for me. Going through a little bit of a catalog here, is there any particular song that you're just really digging right now? Oh, boy. I mean, the first song on the EP, Grave, is is one of my favorite songs. Really intense and hard hitting. Like I, I really spent a lot of time on making it as like as crushing of a sound as I could possibly muster from myself you know so uh i just really i just really enjoy it just because i feel like i achieved my goal with that song so if people want to follow along maybe find out when this new album's coming out where should people go to find out more my facebook would probably be the easiest for most people it's just facebook.com slash choke chain and i also have a Bandcamp page that is linked that has links to all of my social media on there and that's chokechain.bandcamp.com. You can follow me on there, and I kind of do periodic like updates through like a newsletter sort of thing they let you do. Just know like in the moment, you know, when I when I when something happens, that's probably the best way to get a hold of me. Lacrosse Local Podcast is a production of River Travel Media. Do you have an interview idea you would like to share with us? Message us on Facebook at Lacrosse Locals. Subscribe to the Lacrosse Local Podcast on your favorite podcast app. If you like us, rate us five stars. We thank you for it.